Hello everyone and welcome back to English with Lucy. Today's lesson is going to be about homophones. These are words that sound alike but are spelt differently. Learning more about these homophones will help you improve your English listening skills and ultimately it will help you understand native speakers like myself. So if you want to improve your listening comprehension, keep watching. The first homophones are affect and affect. What is the difference? I actually get questions about these words quite frequently in the comments section. Well, affect with an A is a verb. The illness did not affect me. An effect with an E is a noun. The illness didn't have an effect on me. The next homophone is which and which. Which is the pronoun that we all know and love. I'm wearing a red top which I bought in London. And a witch is a scary or nasty woman normally. Number three, we have here and here. Well, they're both pronounced in exactly the same way, but one here is a pronoun to indicate a location. Whoops, I definitely meant to say adverb. Sorry about that. So we've got, can you come here? And the other one, here again, is a verb to hear something, to indicate listening. Can you come and hear this, for example? Number four, are and are. Oh. The first one is a form of the verb to be. These are my students. And the other, a plural possessive form of we. This is our classroom. Then we've got by and by. By with by is a preposition indicating location. I am by the door. By with B-U-Y is a verb meaning to purchase. Are you going to buy this? Number six, weather and weather. This weather means the state of the atmosphere. The weather is very nice today. Whereas the other weather is a conjunction to introduce choices. Could you tell me whether you'd prefer to go out or stay in? Number seven, there there and there. <laughs> this there can act as many different parts of speech. It can be a pronoun. For example, there are a lot of people. And then we have there, which is a pronoun. My students forgot their books. Finally, we have there, which is a contraction of they are. They're very nice people. They are very nice people. Then we have two, two and two. Well, firstly, we've got two, the number two. I have two pets, a dog and a cat. Then we've got two, which can mean excessively or also. I am too tired to go out. Or I will come too. The final two can be used to indicate an infinitive. Do you want to go out? It can also be a preposition. I am going to the park. Then we have your and your. The first one, your, is a pronoun. Don't forget your coat. The second one is a contraction for you are. You're going to get cold if you don't wear a coat. And number 10, we have one and one. The first one, O-N-E, refers to the number one, a single unit. For example, I have one nose. Thankfully, it would be terrible if I had two. The other word, W-O-N, one again, is the past tense for the verb to win. So I recently won a competition. All right, guys, that was my video on the top 10 British English homophones. I hope you found it useful. If you do want to take your listening to the next level, make sure you watch my latest video, which is all about listening skills. The link is in the description box. If you want to improve your pronunciation, you can join in my free live pronunciation and vocabulary lesson, which is every Sunday at 4.30 GMT, that's London time, on my English with Lucy Facebook page. You can also like my Instagram to keep up to date with what I'm doing. Don't forget, I now post on Mondays, Wednesdays and Saturdays, and I will see you again soon for another lesson. Mwah.